Okay guys, I'm going to just do a quick video of the backyard. So that is a uh, zellia bush, zellia bush. This is a rose bush, which is already bloomed, but it's gonna bloom again. And this is the Chicago Peace rose bush. And I don't know why these spider webs are all over it. Um, but yeah, it's usually a bigger, um, bloom than this, but you see I have my rosemary here to keep the deer away, I do have rosemary there, and you can see a bud right there, and a bud right there, um, this is also a rose bush. Uh, this is a zellia bush, which I gotta put some more soil in here before it just dies. So I do have a little light right there to keep the deer away. You can see one little bloom right there, but you can see more. It's about to bud soon again. So yeah, and then. This is my lower petalum here. I hope you can see the color. So I'm not finished with this area. It's always a work in progress. I always say uh, gardening can be like golf. It's very relaxing, but it can be quite expensive. So I just take my time. Um, but anywho. That's going back to the side, on my other side of my house. Um, and then I have a hanging pot there. So I do have like the string lights there. And I also have my petunias here as well. I gotta trim all this off. Um, yeah, so this is, I got pots over there and, so, you know, other little stuff. Um, so all this was grass again. I just took all the grass up. Um, but all that is, I have string lights all over there as well. Oh, I just walked into a spider web. Um, this is another Leland Cypress Evergreen that I limbed up. And again, in this pot, my petunias, uh, these are Dianthus, my Dusty Miller. And you can see what I'm saying about it's kind of furry texture. The deer don't like that. So I have a whole bunch of those over here. Okay, those were dahlias. And I have some, I just put coleus in there. That is another Lord Petalum. And in a pot over there, Dianthus and, um, uh, Dusty Miller. So this is just another section. I got to get out here and tidy up. But I had a little fire pit out here, but I have to get another one. Um, so I have like garden rooms in the back. Um, again, all of this was grass. And I'm kind of glad I pulled it up when I did. Um, because now, mm -mm, I don't have that kind of energy. Um, that's the patio that the boys and I, uh, we just laid brick on top of the concrete because I just didn't like the way the concrete looked. I mean, it was fine. It's just a slab, but I like the color of the brick. Uh, that needs a pot. I, that was uh, in that was in another pot, and I actually took it out, and I put the um, azalea in there, but I need to find a home for this boxwood. Okay, these are lantanas. They're going to bloom in the fall. This is like my outside dining area. I did have covering up here, but you know, in the south, it fades and then tears. So I just put lattice up there. And I have petunias there and there. So if you come over here, this is my succulents. This is seed them and this will bloom pink flowers in the fall 
okay over here this is the verbena the purple verbenum guys that the deer ate in the front can you imagine how beautiful and the one in the front was oh my god that one was even better looking than this one because the one in the front it was white and purple it was like a special species or whatever um I have to pot those. Those are more petunias. And these are my hibiscus. And that's my hibiscus in there, too. Now, I love to stuff my pots. Well, someone's smoke detector is going off. But this is spearmint. And this is the hibiscus. This is Dusty Miller. And you know what? Robin, I see something over here, too, on my leaf, um, my hibiscus leaf, probably insects. That is a planter full of um, mint as well. So then I have another little seating area over here. And this is my jasmine vine and it's very fragrant it did it was full of white jasmine petals um and it's so fragrant same thing they put in the perfume um yeah and then that's my um azalea as well as my rosemary but just like the frost, when we had that snow, which was odd, it did a number on, especially the azaleas. It actually kind of burned them. That's a coleus. They love shade. Again, another dusty melon. Um, yeah. So I did limb up my um, tree right here. And I limbed up that one. That's the neighbor. Anywho. Yeah, she's not happy that I limbed up my trees, but oh well. And this is just my other seating area. Now, this is the area I'm not finished with that I I got two little pots of Vincias up there that I started with my, um, I did put this bamboo fence up, but it's been like super windy a couple of weeks ago. I just got to come out here and straighten it up, but I do have more fencing which I want to wrap around at the top too so the deer can't get in. And then I have the lights here at night. They come on. And then I got the other little bright white string lights here. And it keeps the deer away. So over here I have the strawberries. That is kale that I didn't even take up from last season. So I need to remove that because it's growing flowers now. And... Like I said, I need to get more soil, but I did. Wait a minute. Where's the watermelon? Well, um, I thought I put it over here because I thought these were the strawberries. Um. Hmm. I don't know where the watermelon is at now. I thought I I thought I put it over here, but I don't know. Okay, well, um maybe the deer did come over here. Okay. Well, let's go over here. These are lantanas again. That's some type of onion. That was actually a uh, alien, which is actually in the onion family, but they never bloom. And so those will grow like even four feet tall in purple blooms. Um, so I have another fire pit area over here. Um, another dining area over there. These are just so beautiful these little delicate purple flowers this is Amelia 
and a love full sun. These are dianthus, which the deer actually do like, uh, but I have the lights all around it. That's just the top of a pineapple. Last year, I cut the top of a pineapple and I planted it and it did grow just like the top part. It didn't grow into a pineapple, but it did flower. So I had another one, I just stuck it there. We'll see what it does. And these are just more pots of dianthus. And again, my evergreens. And that's just the back part. Bluebirds live there. Actually, all the bird houses that I have, the bluebirds have occupied. Uh, so that's good. So I need to get more. Uh, this is going to be my future greenhouse. So this is where I just keep all my stuff at for now until I can afford to get a greenhouse. <laughs> I saw a couple of ones that I want, but I've just kind of carved out this section here for my greenhouse. And then I have another dining area over there. And another little seating area there. This is either, this is lilac. And I thought lilac bloomed on old wood. That's why I never, you know, cut these down, but apparently not. So I do need to get out here and take the old wood out. That's just another Leland Cypress. And I'm not sure. This is where I really want to put like a patch of Japanese maples back here. Now guys, this is how the grass would have looked over here if I didn't remove all the grass. I just particularly don't like this grass uh, here. So that's why uh, I decided years ago to just take it out. Um, because this, this grass needs to be watered constantly. And I can serve a lot of energy and a lot of money on water by me removing the grass and just doing this. You know, I save these branches, guys, uh, like when I cut down tree, you know, a, a limb or whatever. And let me show you quickly, because my battery is low, what I do with those branches. <clears throat> so what I do with the branches, because I try to recycle everything as much as I can, I use them to carve out... And then it's less money I have to buy it like on um, the landscaping bricks. So I just neatly dry stack all of the twigs and branches that I have. And I just made a little trail, as you can see, with the branches that I have uh, cut down, you know, and used. Um, yeah, that limbed all this up. There we go. But yeah, and then that just goes back to the front on this side. But it's like a little secret garden. And then like some of the branches, like some of the evergreens, I just lay them down on the ground. They're gonna eventually decompose. They're really good for soil amendment, you know? Uh, it puts the nutrients back into the ground. So I usually just leave it like this, let it decompose, and then I top mulch on top of it. So as you can see, I have to buy, usually when I do mulch, I gotta get at least 200 bags, if not more, when I do back here. So the, what I typically do is I chop it up. I do so many in the spring and I do some in the fall. So I would do this side in the fall because I did refresh that side over there and over here. Uh, I did this in the spring. Just did a nice little refresh. 
so I just got to do the red. So this is the brown, and then all this was red. I, so in the fall, I'll do the red. And I'm going to use all of 200 bags. This was the brown that I did, and it just went all the way around. So when I do mulch, I heavy mulch, um, and I don't mulch for like two or three years. N I'm not going to say that. At least two years. That's the longest. So again, these are these are my Nandina Firepower. They usually deer eat, but because I got the lights there, they haven't been eating it. Except that one. I need to put a light right by that one. This is where the holly was that they ate. Uh, that's my lemon lime nandina there that's a lemon lime nandina and there you go and another one okay so like i was saying um this is from the pine tree that i cut down now i'm going to come back over here and detwig these because see, these are some really good branches actually that i can use uh, again to carve out the trail so i'll just meticulously take my time and like cut each one of these things off and keep the long um, branches and I'll use those in back in the yard uh, but like the pine and the needles I just let them stay right here it's soil amendment and then I throw mulch on top of it and it's good to go so all back here is my property um I did buy grass seeds, I, you know, I said, okay, maybe I'll just try to reseed and try to regrow all of this area back. Why? I don't know, because I don't, I don't even know how to work a lawnmower. My, my sons usually do that and they're kind of like over it. So, and I'm kind of burnt out <laughs> as far as energy wise. So, the only other option, which can be quite expensive, but then again, in the long run, um, you know, you bite the bullet once to be done. I can purchase um, turf or like the putting green soil, the artificial stuff, and just lay that all back here. Um, I actually put like a mini golf course thing back here. Well, you know, like it wouldn't be like a golf course because it's small, but it'd be like a miniature, you know, I could do that. Um, that's my magnolia tree that the deer were eating last night and I caught them red handed. So I have lights right here. However, he was on this side and again, excuse this because I, yeah, this is a mess over here. This is really a mess. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. So this is my magnolia tree. This is one of the trees I got from the nursery for 75% off. And now I know why it hasn't been growing. Well, actually it has, but the deer have been eating the flowers. Because I caught him red-handed. But I got to get over here and mulch this bed again. And pull out some weeds I see but yeah I'm just at a loss right now what I want to do with um, this because this is ugly <sighs> but uh, I'm gonna figure something out what I want to do I just can't afford you know and everything has went up and I just refuse to pay these inflated prices um, this is my birch tree. When I bought that thing, it was probably mm, eight feet. Now look how tall it is. This was another one of those trees that I got from the nursery for 75% off. So $300 tree I got for 75 bucks. So is that my crepe myrtle? Um, but yeah, so my property line stops back there. Okay. Now... I need to cut these branches because I do have lights over here, but they haven't lit up. And this one is solar, and maybe that's why, because last night I was like, the light isn't on. 
and that's probably why the deer were over here. <sighs> but yeah, so this is the back of the property. Again, that's going to be a greenhouse because right now that's the eyesore. But, you know, that's just motivation for me. Either I'm going to have to build it myself or I can buy a kit. Which the kits is the one I want is close to three grand. Um, yeah, but this, are, this is the same... Uh, ground cover that I have in the front yard that is good for erosion these two I haven't shaped that into a topiary yet because I haven't decided what I really want to do with it so I've just been letting it grow but yeah this is the back yeah, garden it's really pretty at night, too, because all the lights are on. And I never used this fire pit but once. And that's when my sisters um, came down. And, yeah, my sons made me that fire pit. And so we used it last winter. And then, like I said, I had just another, uh, you know, store-bought one over there. And so this is going to be my potage over here once I get the rest of my bamboo fencing up. And it's going to look much neater and nicer once I, you know, put it up the correct way. I just uh, got some twine and because that's what I had in the garage. And, you know, when I did put it up, it was looking nice and neat. But then we got these heavy winds and the wind just kind of blew it everywhere. But it's going to be completely... Um, covered like this whole area and then I'm gonna have the lights everywhere to keep the deer out but yeah so that's that that's the back garden so far and I gotta get out here like I said and pot I gotta change those landscaping lights out because they're like not even coming on anymore but I do have some from the front that I just rearranged that I can put back here. Um, but yeah, I just try to keep the chairs and stuff. And I got lights to keep the deer away from this hibiscus. And then, like I said, I have this. That's either mint or spearmint. And then I have some more like succulent there. And then this one, this hibiscus. I got to put some more soil there. Sometimes I switch out pots and things like that. And that's what I did for that one. But don't be afraid to stuff your pots because I do all the time. I just stuff as many flowers as I want in there. And they play nice and they grow well together. These umbrellas light up. There's the solar light at the top. So when you open it at night, it's uh, little lights underneath there. I wish I had this uh, screened in because it would be nice to sit out uh, in the evening. But maybe one day <clears throat> I can get it screened in. But yep, that's the backyard. And once I get everything cleaned and tidied up, I will do another video. Okay, thank you guys. I hope I didn't make you dizzy. I will see you in the next video.